If you guys do go on to enjoy today's video, please drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel with your bell notifications turned on. Now let's get into the video. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I definitely have recorded this video already and didn't realize my mic was muted. Anyway, so we're going to be discussing the League 1 uh, League player today. And I'm basically going to give you guys just some quick tips. And I'm going to show you guys my squad and the tactics that I actually use to get it. So, in total, you need 15 wins, 30 goals, 20 assists, uh, 4 separate matches scoring outside the foot shot you don't have to win the game that's a key thing you don't have to win the game so that makes it a little bit easier and score six finesse shots in six different games so what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly show you guys my team just so you guys can get a quick understanding of what to actually uh so yeah this is the team so obviously it's, it's a bit sweaty up front like 90 pace, 90 pace, 96 pace. Just, it, obviously, it's a bit sweaty up front, but that's pretty much what you have to do. So, in terms of, like, the main stayers, I would say, that you guys have, absolutely need to get in this team is... One is this Mbappe. If you have the loan version, obviously, friendlies don't take up your loan contract. So, you literally have no excuse not to use literally one of the best cards in the game. Uh, ben Yedda. So, at the moment, he's about 60 to 70, 80k, roughly. He's not as expensive as he used to be. Uh, and he's absolutely incredible. Five star weak foot, four star skills, high 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 work rates, and of course, just an absolutely incredible card. Like chuck a hunter on him, he's just insane. And he is the reason why I've done my outside the box goals. There's a clip on screen right now. Incredible goal. I don't know how he scored it. I really don't know how he scored it, but absolutely incredible goal. So yeah, take that for what you will. So, I'd say these two are the mainstays. You don't need Ben Yedda, obviously, but Mbappe, you literally... Unless you, for some reason, don't have your loan Mbappe, you literally have no reason not to use him. So, the rest of it is quite sweaty. Simon was actually really useful, not gonna lie. Obviously, he's very fast, and uh, a hawk on him is actually... I, you know, it's not too bad. It really isn't too bad. That shot power is quite quite good this year. Uh, Galson Martins, he's really good as well. So the mainstays, I would obviously say, is definitely have these two or Jason Denier. Uh, Jason Denier, I don't know what it is. Every time I've come up against him, he was absolutely unstoppable. Now, in terms of your bench, obviously, you want 75s for your, for your four gold cards. And then it's up to you if you want to use Moise Keen, if you've done that objective. Um, personally, I think Keita is just better. He's, he is quite expensive at the moment. He's about 2,300 coins, I think, which for 76 rated gold is quite expensive. But obviously, people want that free uh, mullet card. I think that's how you pronounce him. So, yeah, I'll show off that card, obviously, uh, towards the end of the video. Um, so, of course, as well, you for your bench, you don't need League One players. So, just get the lowest rated silvers you have. Bring down that uh, rating. Just because this it's quite difficult to make a kind of team like this. Obviously... Your goalkeeper, I would say try and get a decent goalkeeper. The only reason I went for this guy is because he has high reflexes. That's literally the only reason. And he did make some decent saves, but obviously, goalkeepers this year, they're kind of garbage. So he did let some absolute calamity uh, go past him. But um, yeah, in terms of actual tips for winning games, uh, I'll just get into my tactics. So just so you guys are aware. Um, so if we just go on attacking. Uh, pressure on heavy touch. So... Guys, make sure you're using your, um, what's it called? It's like your team press. So you press down on the D-pad and then press left. So that activates a team press. So your entire team starts pressing. This is generally good when, say for example, your their keeper passes it out to their first player and then they quickly pass it back to their keeper. That's the time, that's a good time to do a team press just because your entire team then pushes up, obviously at a rapid pace. Obviously you have Mbappe, you have obviously maybe um ben Yedda, you have simon you have gelson martins just you have you probably have fast players um so they're really good on the press uh, width and depth they're pretty much um they're not really relevant i'll be honest um if you want to tinker around with this to make it seem like your your main settings obviously pre width and depth it's basically personal preference like i kind of have my width and depth up here but just because of how bad my defense is i kind of want my depth to be a little a little lower just because obviously if your depth is all the way up here and you have Mbappe, like, coming up against you, it's it's going to be night-night. Uh, fast build-up, you have fast players, so you want fast build-up. You want, obviously, your fast players to be running. Uh, players in the box, I just have six. Literally, literally no reason why, to be honest. Corners, free kicks, all this is pretty much uh, down to how you guys like to play. I just like fast build-up because I have incredibly fast players up front. 
uh, in terms of your formations now this is quite key the player that you want to do your outside the shots with so obviously ben Yedder was my main one you want to have him on the opposite side to his best foot because you're going to be cutting in and finessing it around the actual basically doing a finesse shot around into the opposite corner that's pretty much how i scored most of my uh outside the sh outside the uh box goals i did it with mbappe obviously mbappe just slots in there real nice because obviously his, uh, his preferred foot is his right foot and so is ben Yedas, so he just cuts in and hits it with his right foot so that's that's key now in terms of the actual instructions so getting behind on both the strikers mbappe i also have him on stay forward uh when when the defensive support just because he's the fastest player in the team uh, I did have him on um, free roam. Don't have him on free roam just because I find with more creative midfielders, free roam is better. But Mbappe is not really that much of a creator, if that makes sense. He's more of obviously the finisher. So I just have him on stick to position just so I know where he is. Uh, nothing on these center mids. On the CDM, I have cut passing lanes and drop between defenders and cover in the center. And I have, on, I have stay back while attacking on your uh, full backs just because. If your fullbacks are up there and Mbappe's running the other way, you know you're going to have a hard time. So that's pretty much it for the tactics I used. So obviously, goals and assists, they'll just come naturally, like as you're trying to go to your 15 wins. I will say, going for your 15 wins is a little bit of a slog. It is a little annoying, but there is something that I will take away from this that it makes it a little bit easier. If you score within the first 5-10 minutes, most people will leave. And that is the tip I'll give to you guys. If you concede in the first 5 or 10 minutes, just leave. Just because you'll be wasting your time. You, do, you get no penalty for leaving. So, obviously, if you see a team that you're coming up against and you're like, ah, I don't really fancy that, don't, don't be that person. Like, go score an own goal and then quit just so they get the win. Just don't be that person. The amount of teams I came up against who quit just from the pause menu before I could take kickoff was quite insane. I mean, I have Ben Yedder and Mbappe, so it's, you know, it is scary, don't get me wrong. But just be an I obviously, FIFA community is toxic as all hell, you already know. But just try and get some good karma, score an own goal before you quit, just so you guys can obviously get them the win. And of course, if you score in the first 5-10 minutes, I think 6 of my wins came from scoring in the first 5-10 minutes and the guy leaving. So, just off the, off the kickoff, just try and obviously... Play as best you can, obviously. It's a stupid tip, but if you play as best you can, most of the time, the, the player will leave. Obviously, you have that one or two that will stay in the game and just try and obviously win it from there. But if it's got one or two more, most of the time, they will leave. All right, guys, that's it for really tips on this actual um, uh, video. So I'm just going to show you guys the actual Mollet card. Of course, I've, rec I've recorded me redeeming everything and actually, oh my God, just recorded me redeeming everything. And then it turns out I didn't press unmute. So, pack this Aguero, untradeable, in a 75 plus rare player pack. So, yeah, I opened three 50k packs, didn't even get a board, and a pack and an untradeable Aguero in a 75 rated card. Like, you can make this up, you really can. Alright, so let's just go get a mullet card. So, quick glance at his card, he looks incredible. Four star skills, four star weak, but high medium uh, work rate. And look at his stats! 96 balance 87 ball control 87 dribbling decent passing 90 free kick accuracy 86 stamina like he generally looks like a banging card like a really really nice card like if i just slot him in there and just see where he's like on balanced or basic chem style just oh man he, he looks like a banging card his review might come out later today it depends obviously because i might have to go to bed um as i'm recording this video just because it's kind of late as i say i've been doing this i've been doing these videos or these games for like four three or four hours it's it's been fun it's <laughs> it has not been fun but uh yeah guys if you guys have any questions or queries just drop them down in the comments i'm more than happy uh get to you and provide any assistance where i can if you guys have enjoyed the video and found it helpful please drop a like in the video subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around you see you guys later take care love you all and peace